Well, hello and welcome to this uh, exercise on the transformation by stretch, reflection and rotation um, based on an IGCSE GCSC uh, geometry question. Uh, what you got here is this diagram here, which shows uh, an object like A and two images like B, like B and C. And we are asked to describe fully the single transformation that maps flag A onto flag B and C. Uh, we're supposed to use uh, metrics to confirm our results. Okay. Now, firstly, for flag A to B. Now, if we take this point here, the coordinate, the coordinates of this point is. So the coordinates are 1, 1 at this point there. Now, after transformation, we don't know what it is. After transformation, this point is now there. And the coordinates are now minus 1, minus 1. Similarly, this point here is 2, 3. And after transformation, the image is now minus 3, minus 2. So you can see what's happening here. What's happening is that we now swap the x and y coordinates and then multiply the numbers by minus 1. So 1, 1 becomes minus 1, minus 1. 1, 3 then becomes minus 3, minus 1 because we swap the coordinates and then multiply by minus 1. 1, 4 then becomes minus 4, minus 1. 2, 4 then becomes minus 4, minus 2. And finally, 2, 3 then becomes minus 3, minus 2. So clearly what we now have is a reflection on the line y is equal to minus x. That's typical. Right? Now, to confirm this using metrics, what I've done is this one here. Now, that's uh, x, y, x, y. Now, this is typical. This is a typical uh, two by two and identity metric for two by two metrics here. One by one zero one zero one. Now, one zero. Now, this point here. The point one zero is the object. Now after transformation, that will move from one zero to zero minus one. After transformation on the line y is equal to minus x becomes one zero to zero minus zero minus one. So we go from one zero to zero minus one. Similarly, this point here is 0, 1, 0, 1. Now, after transformation, it moves from there to there. After transformation by reflection on the line y is equal to minus x, it moves from uh, 0, 1 to minus 1, 0. So we now move 0, 1 to minus one zero. So this now is the matrix transformation on the line matrix transformation by reflection on the line y is equal to minus x. So we then have for our object we have this here then. So this is the matrix transformation for reflection on the y on the line y is equal to minus x. And if you multiply that by the various coordinates you end up with this one here. And that confirms what we got earlier. Now, for flag A to C, and uh, uh, flag C, uh, you can confirm using metrics. Okay, now, if we take this point here, for instance, on the object, the coordinates are 1, 1. And that transforms the image to give us a new coordinate, 3, 1. The Note here that the y coordinates do not change, stay the same. 
for the x has increased threefold. The area of the object here, one unit area, has increased by three unit areas. So this cannot be transmission by stretch, sorry, by shear. Okay. Again, note here that this, we've now enlarged this portion here by one unit, from one unit to three units. So we have enlargement in one direction only, perpendicular to the y-axis. So what we can say here is that the area of the image is three times the area of the object, and therefore it's not shear, and that the the linear enlargement is in one direction only, and perpendicular to the y-axis, that the the y coordinates of the image, y prime, is the same as the y coordinates, coordinates of the object, but the x coordinates of the image have three times the value, the s coordinates of the object. So clearly, this is transformation by stretch, with, with the stretch factor of 3 and with the y axis, the invariance line. Moving on, it says um, we, we need to confirm this using uh, matrix transformation. Now, because this, the, the, the stretch factor is 3, then this is the matrix, this is the matrix transformation for stretch, the stretch factor of 3. Uh, these are the uh, some of the coordinates of the object. And after multiplying out, we end up with this one here. Now, note here that the y coordinates do not change. They still 1, 3, 4. But the x coordinates at the top, the top row, is now 3, 3, 6. So that's three times more than the x coordinates of the object. Okay, this question. It says, Draw the rotation of flag A through 90 degrees clockwise above the point 1 minus 1. Right. The center of rotation is here, the point 1 minus 1. From this center of rotation to this point on the object, 2 units, 90 degrees rotation, so that point is going to be there. So it becomes the point 3 minus 1. Okay. And we can get similar points there as well and there. And by intuition, we can then say that the other points will be there, and of course, the, and there, and then the flag is there. So that now is the, uh, is, is the image after rotating flag A. 90 degrees clockwise. And I hope all that made sense. And please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.